new array adapter and again the array adapter object is going to say okay so you're trying to convert an array which we have right here to list items so it says okay what data is in your array well of course this is just a string array and the parameters that go in here are this and that's just for housekeeping whenever you create a new array adapter now another one is android.r and I'll explain what this means in just a second alright layout dot and watch what happens whenever I type simple we get all these weird things that pop up simple list item one simple list item two what the heck does that mean I'll explain in just a second and the third parameter is foods plural alright so again we already know that this is the adapter that's going to be responsible for taking an array that's why it's called array adapter and converting it into list items so this is just a keyword for housekeeping whenever you create an object the next one is how do you want your list items formatted now of course by default it gives you a couple different options simple list item means just make it like you would think um the best way I can explain it if you know just like an HTML list or a list in like Microsoft Word just a basic text list use simple list item one so again I know it's kind of a weird name but eventually whenever we create something like this we're not even going to be using that because we're going to be writing our own custom ones but for now um, just memorize it now the last one is of course okay you're trying to create an array into a list so where is your array well of course ours is foods right there so now we have a list of strings and now we have something that can convert it into a list so of course what we do have to do now is get a reference to this list and you guys already know how to do that it's a list view object in what was the name of this Bucky's list view and just set this equal to typecast into a list view and find view by id r dot id dot bucky's list view so now we got a reference to this list view pretty sweet and the last line of code we need is this take that no not that bucky's list view which is on that user interface and set the adapter and what you pass in here is of course Bucky's adapter so what do you want to convert to list items well just look at Bucky's adapter and that'll give you the answers and it says okay it's trying to convert the foods array to list items so again in order to get an array of strings to display in a list what you need is a converter and this is how you create that right there so now this is actually good to go if we just wanna go ahead and run this we can do that and here we have it a very basic list now of course as I said if you had more than six items like if you had I don't know like a hundred items or something then they would go off the screen but the user can scroll down kind of like you're scrolling through a news feed or a stream or whatever social network you use so there it is right now and as you can see whenever we click them absolutely nothing happens so this is a pretty worthless app so the next thing you probably want to know how to do is how to make something happen whenever you click one of these list items so let's go ahead and do that right now so let me get this out of the way alright so after your last line of code in the onCreate method go down and if you go to Bucky's list view what you can do is you can set on item click listener and what this is going to do is it's pretty much a listener to see when you click an item in that list so inside here um, this is you did all this before new adapter view right here and instead of that what we want to do is we want to call a method called on item click listener 
and inside here we have to just hold alt insert because we want to override on item click right here alright so again what this is doing is it's setting up a listener on your list so now your list is waiting for the user to click something and whenever they do it gives you some information about what item they clicked um, the position most of the stuff is just behind the scenes but I'll show you guys how to do something like print out the name of one of these list items and we'll just print it out as a little toast that little notification alright so I'm just gonna store the name in a string called food and set this equal to string actually if I type this out and talk you guys through it from the inside out it'll probably make a little bit more sense so value of parent get item at position position alright so what this is doing is whenever you tap an item in your list each of these have a position 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of course we actually don't even need to worry about that because that position wherever they tapped it gets passed along through the variable position and of course it's an integer so what we can do is we can just say okay get that position which is some integer it's really irrelevant to us and just get the value of it and convert it to a string so now what that's going to do is it's going to be equal to bacon, ham, tuna, whatever they clicked and whatever that word is we're going to store it inside the variable food so now that food variable is going to be equal to one of these things and we can just print it out in some kind of toast or something so if we just go to toast and of course it's make text then if you go to main activity dot to this well you guys already know how to print out toast messages yep it was named food how long do we want to print it out for um we'll just print it out I don't know long why not and after this in order to show it on the screen you just show it like that so again this is a listener whenever they tap it's going to give us information about the item we tapped what we are doing is we're just extracting the name or the string value of it storing it in the variable food and then showing it as a toast so let me run it and check it out we can click meatball it says meatball we can click potato and it says potato the coolest app ever so of course if we just learn lists to make basic text lists it would be a waste of time because we probably could have done this an easier way now the real power comes in learning how to create awesome list items that you can make into a stream or a feed and you can create the next most popular social network in the world so in the next tutorial that's what I'm going to show you guys how to do create custom list item views it's going to be awesome and I'll see you then